everyone, it's Clint Salter, your host for the Dance Teachers Unite Summit for 2015. And welcome to today, which is all about evergreen enrollment sales. But don't worry, I don't have any car salesmen on our summit. I have people who are authentic, who are real, who are honest, but are also experts when it comes to selling. And today I'm so glad and very happy to have not only a woman who knows a lot about sales, but knows a lot about how to really unlock our inner genius and how to get through the crap that comes up in our heads that stops us from doing what we should be able to achieve and also how we can sell our services as dance studio owners that isn't slimy. So I'd love to welcome our awesome guest, our powerful guest with amazing glasses, wait till you see them, um, Kirsten Roberts. Hey Kirsten, how are you? What an awesome introduction. So that needs a bit of a hell yeah right back at you. Thank you for having me. Really looking forward to today. Yeah, can't wait to dig into this conversation. Now, Kirsten, for those that don't know much about you, can you tell us in 60 seconds who you are, what you do, who you help, and what's your big mission in the world? Yeah, absolutely. So um, Kirsten Roberts, and I'm the Radical Life Mentor. And so my passion is... Is about helping women break through the bullshit in their head. Their really dive. Sorry, we lost you a bit there. Really dive into their um, genius that's inside them and find their their unique passions, their unique skills, and so forth, and help them build businesses that they love. So it's all about living um, the whole person, though. So running a business that fills you up, but also you know, having wild self-love, uproarious laughter every day, crazy fulfilment. It's about the whole person and that's my passion in life. And um, it's, it's one of my dreams to spread that message far and wide right across the world. Yeah, and I think that that's a message that's going to resonate really well with our studio owners because they're working hard in their business. They love what they do, but they sometimes feel like they don't have time for a life outside of their business. And I know that you're all about, you know, having, I don't like using the word balance, but so many of us understand that concept of balance. And I know you're passionate about, you know, rocking your business and, and affecting a lot of people and making sure your business is profitable, but also looking after yourself as, as well and making sure you're spending that time with your family. What are some tips before we jump into the juicy sales stuff? I'd love to hear some tips from you about how we can accomplish that in our lives as studio owners, as mothers, as fathers, as daughters, as husbands, as wives. Um, how do we manage it all? It's, and look, it is a challenge. And if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. So what's awesome though is that we get to realize that we get, that we can choose the way our life wants, to, the way we, we can choose the way our life looks. So, we get so caught up by what we should be doing, that awesome word should, and I feel guilty if I'm not working this many hours in the business, and I feel guilty if I haven't got across all that social media, and I feel guilty if I haven't made all those callbacks. But the reality is, is when we fill ourselves up as well and um, make the choice to take time, whether it be go for a walk in the middle of the day or check out a work a bit earlier so you can connect with your kids before you sit down with dinner, then those things make us feel more wholesome as a person and more well-rounded. When we're getting filled up from other sources, then we're actually better business people. We're more visionary, we're more productive, we're more energetic, and so it is about making the conscious choice to allow ourselves to do those other things because in turn that makes our business rock even more. Mm, such an important message for our studio owners to hear because I know when I talk to them and say, you need at least one day off a week, you know, take Sunday off. And they're like, Clint, but I don't have time. I've got all these things to do. And I'm always saying, hey, look, we all know the studies have been done. When you're on your deathbed, do you say, I just wish I spent more time at work? No, we're not saying that. We're, we're saying, I wish I spent more time with my children when they were growing up. Or I wish I was home for dinner more often with my partner. They're, they're the things that we're, we're focusing on. So I think that's a great message and I hope everyone has written down, you know, time for myself. And in return, like you just said, everything else is lifted. The business lifts. The people around you are, are lifted. You're happier. 
I think as well. And I think as studio owners, you can all probably identify that sometimes we get a bit grumpy. <laughs> you know? Yeah, absolutely. I agree totally. Because when you're happier, when you're more fulfilled, you're actually so much more visionary. You're so much more focused. You just smash things out on a much higher scale. So it's a bit of an oxymoron. Taking time off work makes your business grow even further. But mm. it's true. Oh, and, and I agree with you. And, I, and I've seen it in my business as well with our studio owners um, who said, I took a week off to Mexico and it was amazing. We got new enrollments and I came back refreshed and I had more ideas and we loved that. We loved that. So let's jump in because today's conversation is really about sales. And as a studio owner, we think that, you know, we, we start our studio because we love dance and we love children and we love teaching dance. Um, we generally don't start because there's a big commercial gap in the, in the market for us to start a dance studio and, and, and make lots of money. It doesn't generally work that way. But we know to have a sustainable business, a business that lasts, we need to sell our classes. We need to sell our services and our products to potential parents and students. 